name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of will be with you all. My beloved one today is sixth day of July, being Saturday and week 13. And today the Mother Church celebrates the optional memorial of Saint Maria Gorazzi, is a virgin and matter of the church. Remember all the Maria, Maria Gorazzi's in our prayers today. And as this great daughter of the church to intercede for all of us for holiness of life, purity of intention, and singleness of purpose, and hard work. And now why today, our readings will be coming from Prophet Amos chapter 9, verse 11 to 15. Our gospel message will come from, our response will come from Psalm 85, verse 5 A and B. A gospel message will come from Mighty Gospel chapter 19, 9, verse 14 to 17. The theme of our message today is missing the old and new. Missing the old and new. Missing your old way of life and your new way of life. That makes you a hypocrite. That makes you a new pagan. That you makes you a person of dual affiliation. And that one where Jesus wants to address today. And that's why he made us understand simply today that this is what God, life is all about. And that's why in the gospel message today, Jesus came The disciples of John came to Jesus, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Yes. What is this you are doing? We and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples don't fast. Ask them. Jesus said to them, Can the wedding guests mourn? As long as the guest, bridegroom is with them, I can't be warning when the bridegroom is with them that's celebrating. Time will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. They will fast. Yes. And then he reminded them what they were talking about. He started telling them this parable. You can't use a new cloth to patch old cloths. If you do that, the tear, the cloth with the the tear, the Cloth with tear worse than it was before. Don't patch new clothes, old cloth with new clothes. Otherwise, you make the tear to be worse. You don't carry a new wine and put in old wine skin. If you do that, the new wine will burst the old skin, and the wine will spill, and the old skin, old skin will break. You lose both. When you want to do two of them, you lose both. So therefore, new wine, new wine skin. You know, that's the way you can preserve both wine and the skin. So mixing two of them, you will not, for sure, you will lose both. Now why, when you see people who practice Christianity and practice traditional religion at the same time, at the end of the day, you discover they are not there, neither they are are not full in traditional religion. They want the benefits of traditional religion, but not the duties. They want the rights of Christian faith, but not the duties. They are hypocrites. At the end of the day, they're not living a Christian life. They're not living traditional life. Now, when you see people who take title, nice of the church, and they call it a traditional title holder, that's, that's their story. That's their story. And that's why today you can see it play out when Jesus has made it clear to all of them that this is, you can't mix both. It's not possible. But that's what many of us are practicing today. And that's why the faith is not strong. The traditional religion is weakened. The Christian faith is weakened equally too. None is strong. And none is influencing the people anymore. 
or changing the people or forming the people or transforming the people. No. And that's why there is all amount of wickedness today. Amount of impunity all over the place. We know, we know our rights, but not our duties. And that's what this confers on you. You will know your right, but not your duty. You become an opportunist. So you don't miss old and new. If you want to be a Christian, be a Christian. Singleness of purpose. If you want to be a pagan, be a pagan. And be full pagan. If you want to be a courtist, be a full courtist. Not mixing both. Deceiving yourself. Or deceiving people. And that's why today, God made it clear to all of us today that that's what he wants, intends doing. Prophet Amos prophesies, in that day I will raise up the boot of David. It's going to restore things that have been destroyed. It's going to bring new life. And repair each breaches and raise up its ruins And he built it as in the day of old, that they may possess the laminates of Adam and all the nations who are called by my name. They go back to him, absolutely, no more mixing up. That's what he means by restoring them. They will not dance with two legs, no more dancing with two legs, one leg there, one leg the other way, no. Singleness of purpose. And now when they plug, you see, at that time, things would be better. Things would be better. I say it's coming. When the plug man shall overtake the lepers and the sellers of grape and traders of grape, him who sows the seed. They be, you see, things will be faster. Things will be better. I hope if you come to Nigeria, the mountain shall drip with wine. People will plant their vineyard and eat from it. They plant their vine and drink from it. And they plant their garden, they will eat out of it. And the Lord will plant them back in their own land. Yes, he will restore them on their own. Not when they're dancing too less. One leg there, one leg there. That's the intention of God restoring them. And they will not live a dual way of life anymore. And now when the psalmist who understood this so well today, this year, the Lord speaks of peace for his people. He was telling them how they should have peace. A person on dual affiliation has no peace. A person, a new pagan has no peace, has no joy. He's not satisfied. He's confused. Now why today the morning church celebrates Maria Gorete. Maria Gorete came from a very poor and devoted family. They were poor. Gorete worked so hard to help the parents in their poverty, to read them, them. And she had this experience, a devoted Christian, a virgin, Devoted to God in her life. Then she has to what? Fight. She has to fight back to defend her virginity at the age of 12. A man called Alexandra attacked her with daggers. Say, if you don't accept, I'll kill. And she staggered this guy to the point of death and left her in her pool of blood, but she refused. And when the guy was dying, he said, I want to see that man in heaven. I've forgiven him. I want to see him in heaven. And she died. Defending her virginity. She paid the spring price to defend her virginity. We're celebrating her here today because she didn't miss old and new. She remained for God and God alone. I was celebrating her to the virgin and matter of the church at the age of 12. 
And God, now what the psalmist who said, I speak of peace. That's the only way you can talk about peace, is to live for God alone. And God help us understand today that we are called not to miss the old way of life. After all, the essence of repentance is that you live your old way of life to embrace the new way of life. Repent and believe the good news. The kingdom of God is close at hand. So Jesus started proclaiming. Mark chapter 1, verse 15. I've made us understand today that what we are celebrating, Maria Corate today, she stood for that singleness of purpose. And God help us understand today that God has called us not to miss two ways of life. We ask through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate new wine, new wine skin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.